Okay, welcome back. Uh, I got to do some maintenance time on my truck before it gets winter time. And the oil light just came on to change oil light. So get my get my tr winter time truck ready. And so I can pull my trailers and all to South Carolina in case, when the, when we, in case it snows or whatever. I need my four wheel drive and so I guess I'm going to be changing the oil in my truck, but as you can see, it's a 2009 GMC Sierra, four-wheel drive Z71, and up here in the wintertime in these mountains, we have uh, pretty rough snows and stuff, so normally we go to, go to my house in South Carolina during the wintertime. But it looks like it's with doctor's appointments and things. Looks like it's going to be at least January before we get to leave here. So I need to get get the oil changed to get uh, some of the other things I need done around here done on my vehicles before the before it gets real cold weather. Which is as you, uh, which is getting it's getting cloudy now. It's supposed to start raining, and after this front comes through, we probably it'll probably be uh, it's supposed to get real cold around here. The highs are supposed to get, be in the 30s. So I guess I better get get to work, and hopefully I can get this oil changed before it gets to raining. I also. Have y'all have also seen in my some of the previous videos my 2000 and my 1991 Chevrolet truck? This is a Chevrolet 1500, but it's only a two wheel drive. I bought it brand new in '91, and I'm that's that's my baby right there. I mean, I'll I'll probably I told a wife that instead of using a hearse to haul me to the graveyard to to take to take and throw my casket in the back of the truck and use that truck to to haul me to the graveyard. So it's it's going. So I guess that truck will be going with me to the to the grave. Going taking me to my final ride to the graveyard. So, but let's get this oil started. Get this oil change started right quick. I'm sorry if the wind gets up too much, but. Right now it is it is windy outside, so I'll do the best I can with the wind noise. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Okay, the uh, first step is to get get the oil out of this out of the truck, and here's your oil drain plug, and on the other side, if you look, you can see the oil filter. First off. I got to take the this this uh, bolt loose and get the oil start draining out, so the filter won't be too hard to get off. But I hope y'all can see that up there. But and now if I can do it without getting grease and all, all over my hands trying to. Hold this camera, this oil, this oil all over my hands while I'm trying to, while I'm trying to film with the other hand. Uh, let's see if I can, how fast I can spin this out. So far, looking, looking so, so far, looks looking okay. But let's see, there comes some oil. Let's see. Can I get it out now? No, I got a couple more three. There you go. There's the oil coming out now. And it is definitely time to change it. I have, because uh, I have tried my, I have, uh, this is the first oil change I've done on this particular truck. I bought it used. It's got 86,000 miles on it. And so hopefully once I get 
if I can ever get this uh that hopefully this can be my truck that that I can start doing doing a lot of my videos on to also enhance the channel and maybe maybe even put some bigger tires and wheels and raise it up a little bit but I haven't decided yet but that's I'm letting the oil drain down and then the next step will be to get the oil filter off and in order to save time and not not bore you to death I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the camera off for a minute and I'll have the oil, the oil filter off and putting the new filter on just give me a couple a few minutes and I'll be back with you Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get to show the whole oil change, but it started raining on me, so I just had to go ahead and hurry up and get it, get the job done. But as you can see, this is the light I was talking about on my. See, it's also got a see the oil change change engine oil soon lights on, and I also have a tire that's low, low in air pressure. So that is basically what the video was, was about and hope you liked it I'm sorry about like I said I'm sorry I didn't get to show the whole oil change I'm sitting here now on the edge of my shop with pulled up on the concrete so I can tell whether it's leaking or, or making sure there's no leaks or anything like that but um, if you if you like this and want me to continue to do these type of videos please like and share I mean we yes we do the eBay vlogs but I also want to get the branch out a little bit and show you to get some more ATV vlogs up and also get get some um, doing some other stuff around the house here like changing the oil on the vehicle I got to get this red my 91 Chevrolet in here to get the get the roof primered in and also be ready to paint when I get back next spring so it don't rust up rust through all through the winter and uh, so uh, there will be some truck vlogs on here too so and if you have, have any ideas on what I should do to the truck this this four-wheel drive truck next leave me some ideas and I will see if, see what I can do with the on whether I have the when the funds become available to do to start doing things that I want to do to this truck but if you would please like and share like subscribe and share this video and hit that little like button on the side and we will talk to you later good day okay I did forget to show, show y'all one thing how to reset this um, set reset the the oil pressure I mean the change oil light on the dash what you have to do is scroll through this to where it says where you change the oil and percent of the oil life remaining and just press and hold on this particular truck there's other trucks with with information buttons but this one doesn't have it so on your trip trip thing you just while you're sitting in, with, in park you just press and hold this button and it'll change over to the 100 percent life oil life remaining once you're finished the oil change that's how you reset the light thanks again we'll talk to you later goodbye